Are you ready for today's story? <laughs> Let's go! My bedtime stories! <laughs> Read with me as we make the world more magical one story at a time. The Little Book of Good Manners Written by Zach Bush and Lori Friedman Illustrated by Sarah Van Evera Good Manners What are they? Who needs them? How do you get them? Why are they important? For answers to these questions, just turn the page. Good manners are when you use your words, actions, and deeds to show other people that you care about them. When you use good manners, you not only make others feel good, you will feel good too. A great way to show your good manners is by carefully choosing your words. Polite, kind words are like magic. When you use them, people will instantly feel good and smile. What are some of the best words to choose? Saying please when you want something shows thoughtfulness for others. Saying thank you when someone does something nice for you demonstrates appreciation and gratitude. You can even write a thank you note. Another polite thing to say is excuse me. Say it if you bump into someone. Interrupt them. Want their attention. Get attention you don't want. Some of the most important words that display good manners are I'm sorry. If you do something wrong or hurtful, apologizing lets people know that you care about them and that you are taking responsibility for your actions. When you admire something that someone did and want to show praise, it is good manners to give a compliment. Good job! Well done! I'm proud! Awesome! That makes me smile! Way to go! You're amazing! Your hard work shows! Sometimes, the best way to show your good manners is to say nothing. A good time to practice being quiet is in the classroom. Don't interrupt when your teacher is talking. Listen quietly and follow directions. If you have a question, raise your hand. Knowing when and how to use your words is not the only way to have good manners. There are lots of others. Following rules is a great way to show your good manners. There are lots of places where you can practice following the rules. At home, on the playground, in the library, at the pool. Cleaning up after yourself is another way to show that you have good manners. And when you're done playing, if you put things back where they belong, they won't get lost or broken. It's also really good manners to clean up after your pet. There are other ways to show that you know what it means to have good manners. Wait for your turn. Knock before entering. Offer to help. Practice sharing. Cover your mouth. And wash your hands. One place to use your good manners is at your table at home. Sit up straight, put your napkin in your lap, clear your plate when done. Learn to hold your knife and fork. And remember to use your good manners when you eat out at a restaurant. When is the best time to use your manners? Anytime! Day or night is a good time to be thoughtful and polite. Not sure what to do to show that you have good manners? Here's a simple trick. Just smile! Sometimes, smiling can make you feel better. And it will make other people feel good too. 
Learning to have good manners takes time and practice. When you use good manners, people will notice. They will see and appreciate that you are making an effort to be polite and thoughtful. And remember, the best way to show that you have good manners is to treat people how you want to be treated. Congratulations! Here's your good manners badge. Just print it out and pin it on. Thank you so much for staying and reading with me until the end. Please give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and share it with your friends so we can all read along together. See you on our next one. Bye!